Good morning, everyone. Cheers by Sarah here. If you are new to Cheers by Sarah, I'm Sarah. I put a video out every Wednesday in hopes to motivate, inspire, sometimes make you laugh, and sometimes I'm just bitching. On Saturdays, I put out strange stories, things I find strange, murder mysteries, true crime, strange, whatever, weird stuff. Um, yeah, I do this while I drink coffee, tea, wine, or whatever I'm drinking. I have a good time doing it. So thank you so much for spending some time with me today. Cheers by Sarah. So today's strange story I'm bringing you may have to be series parted out into a series. I'm not sure how long it's going to take me to cover this. I, lo I looked up strange laws in the United States. And I have found so many that I'm going to have to section this out, I'm pretty sure. I'm going to try not to. I'm going to try to rush through it, but I don't know. Look, I don't know. The great state of Alabama. It's illegal to drive blindfolded. Blindfolded. Who does that? Why? did there have to even be a law written? These are things that make me want to be like a little worried about humanity. How stupid are we? Next. I love this one. The story behind this next one is phenomenal. It is in Alaska, Fairbanks, Alaska. I'm going to try to say this with a straight face. It's fucking phenomenal. In 1913, the mayor and the city council got tired of bartender Pete and his pet moose. So to prevent the moose from coming inside the bar, they formed an ordinance declaring that no moose was allowed on the sidewalks. Boom, in your face, Pete. That's great. <laughs> this is great. I found this one on goodhousekeeping.com and I'm gonna just read the article because it's freaking awesome. It's freaking awesome. In Arizona, it's illegal for a donkey to sleep in a bathtub. In the 1920s, a local dam broke, flooding a rancher's home. The rancher's donkey had become accustomed to sleeping in the bathtub, which filled with water and whisked him miles away. After working to rescue the animal, the town passed a law that prohibits donkeys from sleeping in the bathtub, though it's okay for them to stand in one. I'm trying to do this as serious as possible. I really respect this law. I'm going to do it like a news anchor. I feel like I've been doing it kind of news anchor-ish. I would not be a good news anchor, but I would love it. It would be fun. Anyway, in Arkansas, you cannot honk your horn after 9 p.m. when you are close to any kind of sandwich shop. You could get charged with disturbing the peace. I... Okay, my news anchor skills just, see, I suck. I can't do it. Anyway. <clears throat> disturbing the peace. I'm just, I just want a fucking sandwich. I stand pretty strong with this one from California. It is illegal to have anything to do with nuclear weapons. You know, you can't have them, you can't build them. It's illegal. Um, this is within the city of Chico, California. It began in the 80s, which makes a whole lot of sense. But this is hilarious. Here's your punishment if you build a nuclear weapon. You have to self-annihilate. And it also carries a $500 fine. 
punishment is absolutely insane. Would you not agree? I mean, but I get the law. Like, yeah, let's not do that. I don't think we should do that. Next. So the great state of Colorado, which I find it beautiful, it's one of my favorite states to visit. Um, the great state of Colorado does not permit any sale of automobiles on Sundays. You can, you know, get your oil changed or tires or any anything else you need for a car. You can do that on Sundays, just not buy a car. What? Why? Maybe, maybe because it's the Lord's Day, you shouldn't buy a car. That doesn't even make sense, but whatever. Oh, Connecticut, Connecticut, Connecticut. I haven't been there, but Connecticut's got me asking a few questions with this one. In Waterbury, your beautician cannot hum, whistle, or sing while working on your hair. What if, what if you've got the next like superstar cut in your hair? Hmm? What then? You don't want her singing? I would, I would love for her to sing while she's cutting my hair. That's a little effed up, don't you think? Footloose much? This is definitely going to have to have some parts to it, you guys. Um, my laptop's getting ready to die, and yeah. I'm having a lot of fun doing this series already. As always, spread love and kindness today, and don't you dare break any of these laws. Cheers. Used by Sarah.